Hi, welcome to The Loft, the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community services center. Proudly celebrating our 25th year of service to New York's Lower Hudson Valley. The Loft strives to be a safe space for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community and our straight allies. The Loft is located at 180 East Post Road in downtown White Plains. And we're called The Loft, but we are actually in a lower level space. Go to our website, www.loftgaycenter.org. Send us an email, info at loftgaycenter.org, or give us a call, 914-948-2932. Hope to see you soon. Welcome to The Loft. We're in Westchester County, located 30 minutes from New York City. The Loft is opening the space for all the artists of this community to make it possible to us to enjoy all kinds of art. Do you think it's easy? Oh, it's so not. It means that Scotch and Jean Marie, besides all work they already have to do here, they also have to move things, open a space, set up tables, print and cut flyers, and get everything ready to display 433 different pieces of art on the walls of the loft. It's a lot of work, but don't worry, they know exactly what to do, and they do a great job. The first artist we are showing today is Kaya Radin. She came to New York in 1999 with some things stuffed into a backpack and a head full of optimism and creativity. Um, let's see, again, my name is Kai Redden. Um, I made these cards out of um, cardstock and um, an X-Acto knife, which is just a, um, like a sharp um, craft knife. And there's basically three kinds of lines on these cards. If you look at it, some of them are scored right there. Some of them are cut right through. Like these lines are cut right through the paper with a knife. And some of them are um, sc are, um, are scored, which is basically to, you know, to draw something sharp across it, but to not cut through the paper. Another artist who is presenting today is Bobby Miranti. He has recently had his work selected for the Greenwich Art Society show, as well as winning first prize for a sculpture in a New Rochelle Art Society show. Hi, I'm Bob Miranti, and this is my work. I do a combination of ceramics and also digital photography. Um, these pieces on the table are made from an extruder, which is a process of pushing clay through a barrel and then through a die that I make, and then manipulate the pieces. And it gives you the ability to have texture on the inside as well as the outside of the piece. And now we have here Anne Post, who works in the time honor style of classical realism. Anne developed the love for the painting when she saw Live and Brand for the first time at the museum when she was at eighth grade, and she never stopped painting. I've been tra training for many years, uh, primarily as a portrait and figurative artist. Um, I do life drawing. Um, I like to continuously do life drawing. Um, I started doing portraiture back in high school, in junior high school, and then I went on to train at the Art Students League. And, um, I always love people, so I find my subject matter in people the most interesting. Anthony Schifolo brought to the exhibit his 20 years of experience in nature photography. His photos of flowers, wildlife and landscapes have appeared on the covers and in the pages of many brochures, catalogs, magazines and books that takes photography as a form of art. I uh, have here uh, behind me a whole bunch of the photos that I've taken and 
uh, you can see that it's a mixture of nature and uh, figure studies and uh, I do like to get outside into um, the woods or on the beach or wherever and take pictures. Um, I've been doing this for over 20 years and it's not a profession, it's just a hobby. Best thing is not actually Mary Galliano, a unique artist who brought to the exhibit his deeply personal narrative and format of photography. In this project, I wanted to uh, play with the light. Uh, this technique, I would call it, it, it's all pitch black in a room, and you have a source of light, and you paint with light. It's like painting uh, and canvas. <laughs> has uh, many, many major programs. That hotline that was started in 69 is still in existence, the longest um, continuously running hotline in the area. Now it's a helpline and it does um, everything to give people, uh, doctors, and therapists, to crisis calls and what's just what's going on at the loft. And um, that's one of the programs. Uh, another program uh, is a program for LGBT people 55 and over. And um, it's uh, that's mostly social and some help with um, some of the mainstream problems that seniors face. The loft has been here in the Heart of White Plains for 25 years. This is a big year for us and we're very proud of our community center. Uh, we've serviced the Lower Hudson Valley for um, more than two decades. There are about 20 groups and services that meet here on a regular basis. We have everything from a senior program for those who are 55 and older, to peer support groups, to a helpline, to an artist skill, which is on display today, to other kinds of groups and activities like bowling leagues and um, other lectures and support groups that we put together on an as-needed basis. I'm very proud of our community center today. I'm very proud of all the staff and the other board members that helped to make all of this happen. We have some staff that help us, but primarily we are run by volunteers, and that's the lifeblood of what the loft is all about. So we're hoping more people will get involved. If you want to know more about us, go to www.loftgaycenter.org. Thank you. 